I was pleasantly surprised with the first episode of Avenue 5. It wasn't quite as funny as I was hoping. Like, I, I didn't find myself, like, laughing out loud funny at any point in time. But the story really had me a lot more engaged than I was expecting. The whole style of how it was shot, it's kind of tr almost trying to do, like, it's not quite a documentary, but it's it's like trying to make you feel like this is a this is a real thing it's not it's not your standard you know one frame laugh track comedy show it's like it's got lots of moving pieces everything's moving and flowing and you're finding out more details about the story and i found as the as the episode progressed i was more invested in the show because of the story than i was for the uh comedy the show still was very entertaining. There's a lot of good uh, characters, like for example, Matt Spencer, who is like this customer service rep, who after basically having this disaster on, on Avenue 5, is left as the liaison between the ship's crew and the passengers, and he just has no clue what's going on. And then we have Captain Ryan Clark, who we discover was just hired as an actor per to pretend as that he's the captain and everyone always hails him as the hero of Avenue 3 and, and like every time it c comes up he tries to explain like you know I didn't actually do anything when there was the fire on Avenue 3 he said like I just stood there while the paramedic saved everyone and the fire fire system just turned on and put the fire out but like nobody would le would listen to him and was just like no you're amazing you're a hero and then everything about him just be like being an actor comes out and then to amplify that the guy who was like the real captain of the ship ship Joe aka the lead engineer he dies when the ship has its gravity malfunction so we're left with this ship in space off course with an eight week voyage getting turned into a three year voyage. No one really in charge or able to do anything about it. And that's kind of the hilarity. The, the owner of the cruise line, Herman Judd, is on board and he's basically about as helpful as well, I don't even quite know. He's not very helpful. Let's just put it that way. And uh, I really enjoyed it. I I found like I was I was very engaged in what was going on. I'm definitely gonna tune in next week to see what happens. And uh, yeah, that's my that's my thoughts on the show. We'll see you later.